in the water. Well, we're checking in, guys. It's a busy, busy afternoon at ABR. Say hello, Sean. <laughs> so we're going to check in and then we're going to get our um, camping set up. Speak to you soon, guys. Hello. Check me right? in. How's okay. the bike? Didn't take long. Got all the shit. Now just need to park up. Get my husband and um, get on get on with the game. Speak to you all guys soon. Oasis. Um, we're gonna go back to the tent and um, pick up <laughs> pick up our um, our tickets. Apparently, we've got some freebie tickets, and you can tell you can tell what the freebie tickets are all about. Everyone's got the tickets, and the well, whether we use them or not, I'm not sure. But these are gonna be for today only for the Thursday session. But we've had a wonderful. A um, couple of hours watching Oasis, well not the real Oasis, and loads of people coming to say hello. Sun looks like it's coming out behind those horrible clouds. So yeah, back to the tent for 10 minutes and back out again. Bye guys! Say bye guys! Bye guys! <laughs> Half past seven at the ABR Friday morning. Getting a little bit of height. <laughs> well, there's this L cheeky monkey here. Test rides, I think. Oh. I'll take you with me. I didn't expect that. Bloody big, massive queue. Do I, could I be bothered? Yes, I could. It's spitting, guys. This is not good on a bike, really, is it? But there's Radley Hall. Like I said, this this um, space had all the VIP tents last year, and now it's taken up with stalls. And they go on forever. I mean, we could go up and down there, but what we're planning on doing now is riding off the back of that successful ride. I'm going to go and sit on some more bikes and see see the possibility of taking another bike out seeing some dress from head to toe in bike gear and I've got to put a ride out for Sean seeing Sean can't go on one I'll have to do twice as many well it's Saturday 10 past 1 it feels like it's Four o'clock. Just had to leave Sean and go back to the tent. This is why I'm a rubbish YouTuber because I forgot stickers. <laughs> so when people have let on and bought us a drink, and the only kind thing to do other than saying thank you is to give them a sticker. And why not? Carnage. So guys, I'm thinking about doing a BSA again um, tomorrow, but this is the original looking one. I just love the way they have the, the red plate there. 
and then we've got the touring BSA. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Look, it looks smart, doesn't it? Love it. All my sun lotion is up, but I'm just coming to one of my favourite stands. Well, you know, it's not the original, but coming to one of my favourite stands. Seeing how much the caps are for the tour. What do you reckon, oh, guys? Do you reckon Sean will get me one of these? Sorry? I'm talking to the camera, sorry. <laughs> Which one is your fave? For me, it might be that grey one. Well, this one's a little bit sweet. So, so, Mrs. Jobless money bags here. With a big bright red nose. So she wants a Dainese hat. That's the selection. What do you think? And this, is, and this is the one she's gone for, I think. What do you think? Have a look. Tell me what you think. Give me... Give me your opinion. Fits like a glove, doesn't it? <laughs> Fits like a hat. Like a hat, yeah, like a hat. No, no, they, they all come with hood because of the ride. It's a winner. It's a winner. What else have you found? Well, I'm going for it. I found some gloves. Have a look, I don't know. Cortex. Fully wintered. Do not take out the phone. Take the sunglasses, take them off. Get out the hand, get out the hand, and press the flesh. Change the dynamic. Change, that's what it's all about. You will never, ever, ever um, regret doing that. And that always works because invariably a cop will come to you in, in a lot of these countries and they see you as a real thing, see you as a potential. Bit of advice there what to do if you're abroad and you meet a copper. Meet the flesh. I've lost Sean again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
just had to be ticking over them behind a tractor in second gear with no clutch whatsoever and then suddenly it went into like 90 mile an hour <laughs> I quickly went up on the um, acceleration and came back I was like oh my god Whoa, neutral again guys I've been on this 1100 but oh my god I have loved this ride overtaking has been so smooth I don't have to drop gear corners have been a bit scary honest to god the throttle is so keen absolutely loved it what a wonderful first test ride It's a fast ride as well. <laughs> They're quick off the mark, these guys, I'll tell you that now. Really are quick off the mark. They do not mess around. Oh, thought I was turning in that one then. We have the right away. And now I don't even know where my instructor's gone. And he's like, oh, just follow me. And I'm like, he goes, you're right. Well, I want to run off the 1100. And, and you know, what, what am I supposed to do? Well, there's the hall, guys. And that's where we were staying last time. It's really, really busy. And that was ridiculous. That I've just had a word with Danny. <laughs> My cheesy little husband. Well, I did drop it. Yeah, I did stall it a few times. But you know what? It's my first time on a big, big girl bike and I absolutely loved it. I do get why Sean's worried though. I really do. Thumbs up. Yay.